Hola, muy buenas a todos, bienvenidos a mi canal, estamos aquí con Minecraft, la, el modo historia Y bueno, hay que decir que lo han traído subtitulado esta vez, es increíble, pero sí, está en castellano Una cosa bastante interesante porque debido a que los juegos de Tetergate no suelen estar para nada traducidos Siempre tenemos que esperar unos meses a que nuestros amigos de Teringa lo traduzcan Así que nada, vamos a empezar la historia y veamos de qué trata, ya que tengo bastante curiosidad, porque claro, aventura gráfica con Minecraft hay muchos que le tienen miedo, entre ellos yo les tenía bastante miedo, pero viendo algunos avances y el trailer, la verdad es que, no sé, pinta bien. Ahí como podéis ver como que continúa, pero es que realmente eh, era para probar a ver cómo se escuchaba el juego, así que vamos a empezar por el capítulo 1. Vale, nada más empezar nos, eh, nos dicen de elegir un personaje, algo que me ha gustado bastante, y me voy a elegir a este que es el que más me mola. Y la Orden de la Piedra, Episodio 1. ¡Comencemos! Esta salida del juego se adapta a las elecciones que hace. La historia se ajusta según cómo juegues. Nothing built can last forever. And every led... Por cierto, eh, voy a subir un poco los... Tu, 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 tu. Juego... Audio y vídeo... Los ta tamaños subtítulos voy a poner en grande, a ver cómo se... No matter how... Buah, demasiado. Vamos a poner un poco más pequeño porque si no... Mediano. Así ya estará un punto medio, ¿no? How great fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel, the warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Soren, the architect, builder of worlds, and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Yeah. Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons yeah. or armor, so you'd have to fight them with your hands. I'd have to go with the giant chickens, not because I want to or because I think it would be easy, but because they would be an abomination. Imagine their giant feet. Like I said, an abomination. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Ruben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? What kind of question is that? Of course he okay, is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like... I don't know. <laughs> Ruben is my best friend. Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Both of you are. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. I'm tired of being a laughing stock. We are not losers, Olivia. We lose all the time. It's okay. what we do. Oh, okay, that might be true. I can't remember the last time we won anything. But if that's the case, it means we win at being losers. 
<laughs> All right. Fine. Did you hear that? Phone creeping. Oh, no. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Guys totally freaked out. Now we're on. Ugh. Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. Cool mask. It is, isn't it? Yeah, very convincing. <laughs> the look on your faces. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. <laughs> Good up with you. He looks awesome. It only took me like a million hours to build it. All right, all right. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. Ooh. Vale, o sea, hostia, qué guapo, ¿no? El movimiento y eso. Estandarte. Gabriel the Warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? It's not impossible. Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. A ver qué hay aquí en el cofre. Shears definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. Vale. Estándar. Pasa la armadura en serio. Vamos a pillar esto. I got this stand as a gift, but don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. Give me a dragon roar, Reuben. Hay que decir que hacer de esto es apoyo. I'll do, Reuben. That'll do. Vale, a ver qué tenemos por aquí. Por ahora me está gustando, eh. No me está gustando para nada el miedo que tenía este juego. Y la verdad es que por ahora está muy guay. Está genial. Steel, no too shabby. Yo creo que ya está, ¿no? No tenemos nada más para coger por aquí. Pues ya podemos ir. A no ser. Sí, ya está. Vámonos. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one. The special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the Warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally. He's awesome. It'd be amazing to meet him. Ruben better be careful in that costume. The last time Gabriel saw a dragon, it didn't end well. So... Does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? <laughs> yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Reuben oh. with us. We basically have no chance. We're going to win because... What are you talking about? Because up to now... We've hated losing, but today, today, my friends, we're going to start learning how to love winning. That didn't sound as good as it did in my head. No, no, I'm with that. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay, then. So how do we do this? We don't just build something functional, we build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. You might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. They both have their moments. 
They're both pretty scary. Uh, that kills, then again, and then you scared the crap out of us with a creeper today. Let's build an Enderman. Ah. Uh, Olivia's thing? Are you whining? An Enderman, that must no, be a I was saying awesome. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. No, no, no. Preparing is daring. No, that's that's the same thing. Forget it. A team on three. One, two, three. Team, team. prepare. <laughs> Hostia, guapo, tío. Hay que decir que se la han curado, eh. Se la han curado, está guay. Para ser un prólogo, hay que decir que me ha sorprendido bastante. We know what we're building. We've got all the stuff for it. We are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build. I'm ready to win. Nice pig, losers. <laughs> oh, great. There's Lucas and the ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> Great. The fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Name, please. Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for this. <laughs> so much for losing anonymously. We're the Nether Maniacs. You just thought of that right now? Yep. Who never even been to the Nether? Nether? Who the Nether cares? Okay, Nether Maniacs, you guys are in booth five. Ah! Ah! <laughs> bueno, tenemos que ir a la cabina cinco, así que un segundo a ver cómo va todo. Vale, pues ya está. Se puede abrir el cofre este. Vamos a solo mirar. Dos que en la cabina 5. No se puede echar un vistazo además. No, pues nada. Is that a freaking beacon? They have a freaking beacon? Freaking beacon? That's stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. We're gonna lose. What are you worried about? We've got this. Who are we kidding? We've got nothing. We've got a mascot. <laughs> we should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha. Look. It's the order of the losers. Qué pesados estos tíos, por favor. Good one, Gil. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. I'm talking about your pig. I'm saying he's food. Shut up. What's that? Jesse said, "Shut up." Do you need to hear it again? I don't know. Maybe. 
Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Jesse. Guys. Hey, Petra. How's the bill going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Well, None of us we'll know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. If you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are? We're going to crush you. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but we're pretty good. Oh, wait. I get it. It's like a joke, right? No, I'm serious. We're going to destroy you. <laughs> you know, you're really funny. That's awesome. Hey, good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon Building Competition! The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet, in person, Gabriel the Warrior! Ocelot! 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 Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. We'll just make one up. <laughs> we'll call it the, uh, the Redstone Wrap. No leaving the designated crafting areas for any reason. Hmm. And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan, and everything will be fine. This year, the Nether Maniacs can't lose. Let's do it. Building starts now. Oh no, a fireworks dispenser. I'm so scared. You worry <laughs> about your build and we'll worry about ours. Now, the moment of truth. I guess I didn't get my own. Here goes nothing. This looks so cool. We'll win this for sure. I gotta admit, this Enderman is sweet. Good call, Jesse. Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man! What? No way. It's just a bunch of dyed wool! Whoops. Oh no, Ruben's on fire! Ruben, no, come back! It was Aiden, that punk. The lava's getting closer. It's gonna ruin the bill. Ruben's going to get lost. We've got to do something. But our build is about to go up in flames. You guys stay and save the build. On it. We've got to cover, Jesse. Be careful. We'll meet up with you at Endercon! 